and welcome back to these three videos for kids. Today, we are going to be talking about perhaps the most beloved president of all, Abraham Lincoln. Abraham was born to Thomas and Nancy Lincoln on February 12th in 1809 on a small farm in Kentucky. His family was very poor, but they did their best to make ends meet. Lincoln had two siblings, a sister named Sarah and a brother named Thomas who died as an infant. Lincoln's father was in the realty business. He sold and bought Kentucky farmland. He unfortunately got caught up in disputes concerning the land, causing him to lose 200 acres of family property. The Lincolns decided to move in 1816 to the state of Indiana. They hoped they would have better luck there. Thomas became a carpenter and a farmer. Sadly, in 1818, Abraham's mother, Nancy, died. Sarah was now the woman of the house. She was only 11 years old. Only 10 years later, Sarah died while giving birth to a stillborn baby. Abraham was very distraught about his dear sister's death. He wasn't very old and he had already seen two of his closest loved ones pass away. Thomas, Abraham's father, remarried and Abraham grew very close to his stepmother. It didn't take Abraham too long to realize how much he hated working on the farm. It was slow paced and laboriously hard work. He enjoyed and much preferred reading and writing and learning. Many people called him lazy for this, but he did not care. He just kept on reading. Because of all the reading and writing he did, Lincoln became very smart. And, as he really had no help in this, he was pretty much self-taught. In 1831, Abraham set out on his own. For six years, he lived in New Salem, Illinois. He then went to New Orleans, where he witnessed the harsh ways of slavery for the first time. In 1840, Abraham was engaged to Mary Todd. They were planning a wedding for the 1st of January in 1841, but something happened and they canceled the wedding. They eventually worked things out and decided to get married a year later on November 4th. In 1844, the Lincolns settled in Illinois in a house close to his office. He was a lawyer. Mary and Lincoln had four sons. The oldest, who was born in 1843, was named Robert Todd. The second oldest was Edward Baker, who was often referred to as Eddie. He was born in 1846. Sadly, Tuberculosis killed four-year-old Eddie. Lincoln's third child was born in December in the year of 1850. His name was Willie and he died at the age of 12 due to a high fever. Abraham's last son, Thomas, was born on April 4, 1853. His nickname was Tad. He died at the age of 18 because of heart failure. Poor Lincoln had seen a lot of deaths in his time and the deaths of his children saddened him greatly. He was suffering with clinical depression, which at that time was referred to as melancholy. In 1860, Lincoln became the 16th president of the United States. Not very long after he was elected, a civil war broke out. His original goal was to reunite the states of America, but the goal changed to free the slaves and make slavery illegal. After several hard years of fighting, the Union finally had won. One of the things Lincoln is most famous for is his speech, the Gettysburg Address. It is concise, beautiful, and is timely and important even to this day. Just days after the war had ended in 1865, Lincoln was awakened from a terrible nightmare. Now you know when you have a nightmare and after you wake up and realize it was just a dream and you aren't scared anymore? Well, unlike us when we feel relief knowing that it was just a dream, Lincoln felt haunted. The dream was so realistic. In his dream, he was walking around the White House. Every room that he walked in was empty, but he could hear people crying out loud. 
he told his wife. The silence was broken by pitiful sobbing. Mary asked why he was scared and he replied, but the mourners were invisible. I went from room to room. No living person was in sight, but the same mournful sounds of distress met me as I passed along. Then in Lincoln's dream, he had walked to the East Room where he found a coffin surrounded by guards. The face of the dead person was covered. And so in his dream, Lincoln asked who had passed away. The guard told him, the president of the United States. He was killed by an assassin. After Lincoln had told his wife and a close friend of his, he tried to get rid of the horrible feeling. On April 14th, just a few days after his dream, Lincoln and his wife got ready to attend a play. Lincoln was still bothered by his dream and he did not want to go, but everyone knew that he was going and he didn't want to let them down, so he went. Abraham and his wife sat in a private booth that was supposed to be guarded by a policeman. The policeman left his post and went to watch the play. How could he do that? An actor named John Wilkes Booth knew that this was the perfect chance to kill his enemy, President Lincoln. He thought that this was his way of redeeming himself for not fighting in the Civil War for the South. He fired a shot directly at Lincoln and the next morning the president was declared dead. And just as in his dream, he was laid in a coffin in the East Room, surrounded by soldiers and mourners. Another interesting fact is that when Lincoln left for the play, he told his guard goodbye. Every other time, he told his guard goodnight, but that night he said goodbye. It almost seems like he knew. Twelve days later, Lincoln's assassin, John Wilkes Booth, was found and killed. Yes, it was and is very tragic that such a great president had to die. He was only 56 years old, but we can remember all the great things he did and be happy that we were lucky to have such a great president. Well, that wraps up our history lesson. See you next time.